Hey, what's up guys? t over here, clicking our video today. Right, so two days ago I put up Hazy Flames and I hope you guys enjoyed that one because that video took literally an hour, okay, an hour of dueling with the deck to actually understand how it plays and, you know, find enough replays to show you. And that's the thing. I've decided on Harpies today and... Oh my god, it's like, I don't understand what it is about Harpies, right? The thing is, is that, like, now that i played the deck properly, um, I can see that they have huge consistency issues. Because, like, if you open up Monk and Historic Sign on your first turn, then you are ultimately going to win the game, because you can just set free back row and you're done, okay? But, oh my god, I just spent, like, three hours going through doors, and about 90% of them, the people just quit. They just scooped and quit, and that was it. And it was so annoying, because, like, I just want someone, even if they know they're going to lose, I just want someone to play till the end, until they get to the last, like, they, like you can, the, the game state shows that they're not going to win. Like, they've got no cards in hand, they've got nothing, and then they just surrender. That's okay. But they don't even do that. I just make Dracosac set two, and then they just scoop. Because you go Harpy Chandler, pitch Harpy's Pet Dragon, summon another summon another dragon, make a Dracosac, set... Uh, Make two tokens, set two, go. And then they draw and then scoop. I mean, I played against Vexicus4666. I saw he's on death row right now. And I went and I saw his game. I joined it. And um, I went first. Made uh, Dracosac first turn. Set three. He draws into Arasuda. Special summons it. Then he just doesn't do anything. He just scoops. I've got the replay as well. That's the very annoying thing. I want to show you how to play decks. Or even how decks work. Or just like what they do in case you don't play the deck, you know, or give you a decent build. I mean, this is a decent build I got off Arc Fusion. Uh, check out his channel if you want to look it up on YouTube or something. And it's just like, I want to show you guys this video, but I can't because people keep scooping and just quitting. It's so annoying. And it, it was annoying the first five times, right? But the fact is, is that the replays that I got you, I don't feel like they're good enough because I wanted to show you Fire Fists, uh, Murmels, and stuff like that, but I couldn't because everyone, there was no one playing them, and everyone who was, everyone's just playing crappy decks. So I could show you a few replays, but whether or not they're valid in terms of showing how harpies are, it's up to you to debate on that one. So let's have a look at the replays. Before I even get into a decent replay, which might have been just showing some of what the deck does, I'll just show you the one I played against Vexicus, because this is literally what I've been doing every single time. And it's so frustrating, because <laughs> it's like, I go first, and look, let's take a look at his hand, right? I haven't actually seen this replay yet. So he opens up Tenki, Gyoko, Tensu, a Yamato, and Zephyros, okay? And then he uh, make Dragosac first turn, uh, summon two tokens, uh, set 2 because there's no point setting Historic Party on turn 1. And then he draws into uh, Quillen and then he activates Gyoku shutting off one of my face downs. And then he tankies into your Arasuda. Okay. He then summons it and basically scoops, right? This is obviously an error, but he scoops. And there's like, I can see that he can do something. He can go Yamato Formation Tensu, summon Arisuda, okay, and then make Susanoo or something and attack. It's like, I have Phoenix Chain for it, but at least he has some kind of play. He doesn't do anything, and that, that's not a hate towards him. It's a hate towards every single person I keep playing where they just scoop. It's like, they've got something they can do. Like, if you're playing in a tournament, right, and you see this Dracosac first turn, you don't just pick up your cards and scoop. You just play, because you might end up drawing, because <laughs> he's got outs, he's got loads of stuff he can do. And like, you know, Quillen's going to put in work later. Yamato, he opens up Yamato, if you're not Yamato, you fucking play the deck, because you play the deck, that's how it is, you know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to fiendish chain Yamato, because I have Dragosat to deal with all that shit, okay. So, that just annoys me, that's all. Um, anyway, let's go to Harpies versus uh, Spellcasters, and this is where I use Lightning Chidori. To basically, um, this is a really bad spellcaster deck, but it's just to prove a point anyway. So I set four, um, and then he goes Endymion, I think. Gets himself two counters, activates MST, I chain Icarus, blow up his two cards, and he does nothing. So I draw again, and I, I summon Harpy Channeler, yep, and I attack. By this point, I'm just waiting for Harpy to come into my hand because my hand is not, you know, it's just a summon a monk and I can't do anything with it. So, uh, Edemion comes on the field again. So I, I get another Harpy and I summon uh, Lightning Chidori and I use the Fett to bounce his face down. And then I put Endymion back in the, into the top of the deck. And what this basically does is for the next three turns, he's just going to keep drawing the same card. So, um, it's pretty much game. 
You know, he's just going to keep drawing and Demion, and he, all he can do is set Knight and Sorcerer, and he doesn't. So, um, I attack with Zephyros. Yep, and that's Rachel Dory again. Put it back at the top of the deck. End my turn. That's why Chidori was feared when it came out. Basically, when it was announced, people were worried that this loop was going to happen, where you were to loop the same redundant card on top of the deck. So I make Dire Wolf blow up his card and attack the game. So, simply, Chidori is a very powerful card. It's just, like, its low attack puts people off. But it is a very good card, and obviously people like Seize a lot these days, so Chidori isn't as powerful as uh, as some people would say it is. So, anyway, that's one other deck, and I guess we could do the Harpies versus the Bad Black Wings deck. Yeah, Historic Sign is great when you open up with it, because you can search Egotist, and Egotist doesn't really do anything that that relevant, because you, only, you can only special summon a Harpy Lady 1 with it, or whatever Harpy Lady you want to use. So he attacks, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Point is, though, he's obviously a bad player who just plays Black Wings. I don't know why Black Wings attracts bad players, it just seems to always, like... <laughs> it just seems to track bad players. It's really annoying. So um, I use um, Harpy Ground to blow up loads of back row. And I make Shark Knight. And I, it's not really the optimal play. I shouldn't really have done that. But I took his Bora because I knew that the Gladius wasn't going to be a problem. So I get three cards off of Historic Sign. So I don't lose any hand. So he mind controls for no reason and attacks. Basically, I win this game. Okay, there's no really need to show what happens, but I'll show you what I'll show you what happens. But you know, there's there's not really much else. He just loses all of his cards because of uh, Harpy Harpy's hunting ground, which just generates plus ones out of nowhere. So I uh, do Dracosec and I summon tokens and I run over his stuff. And by this point, he's obviously got nothing, so he just uh, basically scoops up the game. I was I get three more cards off his Stoic Signs, so I just keep refueling my hand. Uh, he sets Icarus attack scoops. And, okay, let's have a look at um, the bad hero deck that got owned. Seriously, like, I don't get it. Like, Death Pro is a great tool, and yet so many people that play on it are just terrible players. Um, I'm not trying to be um, elitist or something, but what I am saying is that, like, polymerization summon absolute zero. It's like, what <laughs> what age are we living in where people do that stuff now? It's, it's ridiculous. He hasn't got any follow-up. He has equal, which he didn't use. And trap stun and parallel wall fusion and no way to use it. Like if you're gonna do if you've got that kind of hand, just don't make absolute zero first turn. It's stupid. So I historic sign and get three cards, so I wanna set up for a Chidori play. Or a Shark Honest Knight play. So I um hit his back row and I egotist Harpy Lady one and uh make Shark Knight. And I take his absolute zero and there you go. So I have Historic Party face down, which I could have used basically right there, but um you know. So anyway, I Historic Party and get back four Harpies. So I blow up my field spell, because I don't want to obviously blow up Historic Party, it would just kill me off. So um, I attack, 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 and let's go. You know, it's just, <laughs> like, Harpies is great, like, against Rogue decks, Harpies do really good, but when you go up the, the rankings to the tiers, um, Harpies just starts to suffer. Um, I lost really bad here, and it was disgusting as well. Um, it's the reason why agents can be very good. I mean, look at his hand. Disgusting. What a hand. Seriously, he opens up and he got Herald for this god fight. It's just like, ah. Yeah, so anyway. Um, I summon Harpy Queen attacks. I have no idea what the fuck I'm playing. I thought it was Chaos Dragons or Light Sworn or something like that. So he goes TG Striker, War Wolf. Uh, makes Armor Ds. I fiend his chain because I can't do it in the battle phase. Um, I summon Zephyros and summon My Stroke. And he heralds, and obviously I negate that so it doesn't die, so I survive a bit longer. I thought in this position I was quite good, but he does summon Venus, and he does have Transmodify in his hand, which allows him to do some pretty disgusting things. Um, so he goes Gachi, and then he uses Transmodify to summon Jupiter. Um, the reason why I, I was like, why the fuck would you do that? Jupiter's not that good of a card. And then I realized that he had Christian in his hand, so there's not really much I could do about that. So uh, Zephyros comes back, so I thought the only way I'm going to survive is if I make some kind of play here. So I do Shark Knight and take hold of his thing, even though Shark Knight can't get over anything. But it's the only thing I could possibly do in that situation. So he attacks and uh, drops Honest, and uh, Shark Honest Knight doesn't die. Christian, I activate Phoenix Chain. And I'm like, in this position, I'm like, I'm not in a great position, but this is too weak. This is really powerful, but he can't attack with it. And Zubita's going to go back down to 22. So... In this position, I'm going to lose this and take 100, but I'm okay. And then, what is the the only card that could possibly fuck me over in this situation? 
Okay, obviously Harpy's Pet Dragon, I can't do shit with that. But he draws into BLS, and I'm just like, the one card, seriously, he could have drawn into Hyperion as well, which would have been pretty annoying. But basically, the only card that was going to screw me over so badly to the point where I'm salty. And, you know, it's like, I couldn't do anything. And that's the thing, Harpy's Pet Dragon, I couldn't stop opening it. I'm playing two of them, right? And I want to play one, but... According to strategy guides and so on, you generally want to play two because you can ditch one of them to summon the other, make Dracosec. That's, you know, that's fine if you want to have more Dracosec consistently. But then you keep opening up with them and it's like Harpy Dancer and a Harpy's Pet Dragon and a Harpy's Hunting Ground. They're all Harpy's cards, but they don't synergize at all in any sense. I mean, like, these two synergize together. Harpy's Pet Dragon only synergizes with Harpy Channeler, and that's pretty much it. There's no other way you could do anything. And that's why I had not played Ty in uh, Tempest in this deck, but I think for the purposes of having some kind of way to get through cards and deck quicker, because you open up very inconsistent hands with Harpies at the moment, that's what I've noticed. I think that's the reason why they don't make Tier 1, because I just think in terms of a tournament setting, they don't win enough. They don't open up enough decent hands to be able to work with something. So they do make a lot of really shoddy plays, because they just haven't got the consistency to make the same broken plays over and over again. That's why Historic Sign doesn't really need to be hit, because... The deck is inconsistent enough to the point where Hysteric Sign can be a very powerful card, but when you get it off, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've won. You know, it's just like, you need to construct your hand, and that takes turns, that makes the deck slower. Um, it's really up to you. I think if you want to understand what I'm saying here, I think it's a case of actually just playing the deck and uh, seeing for yourself what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> um, I I literally went through about 40 to 50 games and about 25 to 30 of them they scooped before I could actually finish the game. And I just think like even if you know you're going to lose you might as well just play through anyway and just see what it happens because you can still win. You can still come out of nowhere. You can still be down like six cards and you can still come out of the win because Exiton Knight is a card now. Um, Black Rose Dragon still a card. You can still have a lot of ways to to destroy field presence and then put you both on equal cards um, and yet people don't really understand that they rather just see themselves down they go minus two for some random reason because they made a misplay and then they just scoop because they think oh there's no way I'm going to come back I mean Suzunowo in Bujins allows you to come back from a minus five for example and bring yourself back to equal cards with your opponent so that's not my fault okay some of these people on DevPro, they just scoop because they're losing, and it's very, very annoying. And I think that's a problem with Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, even on um, Dueling Network. People just scoop because they think they're losing. And Harpies isn't the kind of deck where you can instantly see yourself losing. I mean, like, you you add three cards with Historic Sign, but you get to see the cards that they add. So you're not necessarily down, like, you don't, you don't just go minus three just because your opponent gained three cards. You know what those cards are, so just play accordingly. Play... play your, what cards you do have in a way so that those extra free cards are, are just dead cards in hand. You know, that's pretty much all I can suggest. I mean, like, set skill drain, use that, make sure they use Harpy Chan and discard and stuff like that. So that's all I can suggest. Um, uh, I hope that my next one, my next deck that I choose to play is a, goes a little bit more smoothly because I think this has given me a really bad taste on DevPro. Um, I hopefully um, see you guys in a few days. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Maybe even tell me um, if you play Harpies, if you like the deck. Um, maybe there's a combo that I didn't use or some kind of play that maybe I missed that I should probably try and implement in a future Harpy video. That's pretty much it. So hope to see you guys in a few days. And until next time, the TCG Lover is out.